for the penance that are coming up in about 10 days. The training's been good and I decided this year to compete a lot more before the penance. Usually uh, it's one of the first competition of the years, at least one of the most important ones. But this year I decided to enter smaller tournaments here in Rio, so I already competed four tournaments, about eight fights that I had. So, so I feel that was a good preparation to get there a little bit more with a better timing and all this. So it's, it's going pretty good. Yeah, well, I, since, since my lower belts, I haven't been competing much in the absolute, in the open weight, just because I think the chance for me, being as, such a small guy, getting hurt is so big that I try to avoid the situation. But, when, but I do train, not very often, but I do train with bigger guys, and what I look for, it's always uh, to test my limits without putting myself in danger. So if I get the chance to to put them in my game and maybe try to work around like going to the back. I always believe that taking the back it's something that the strength and the size difference it, it's not so important because perhaps if I mount a much bigger guy he can probably work his way out with his strength but once you're on the back you, you even out very much. So it's a kind of a game that I think it fits very much if you're a small guy and you're looking to fight against bigger guys. Taking it back, maybe through half work. I think it comes like in a package, you know? It's not that running is gonna help your jiu-jitsu, but the fact that you're being healthy, you're waking up early, you know, trying to have a, a healthy, healthy ba uh, balanced diet, it's gonna help the style, the lifestyle of jiu-jitsu, no doubt. And for example, as an exercise, one thing that I have tried just recently was the slack line. It's becoming very popular in Rio and it's very good for concentration. It's good for you to keep the strength of your legs so you don't get hurt as often. So little things like this that it's not going to make your jiu-jitsu specific better, but it helps you have a, a healthier life and, and for sure that's going to help in the end anyway. That, that was one thing that, even though I was losing a lot in my upcoming belts, I never mind losing. Of course, I didn't like it, but entering a tournament was always a way for me to see what I could do best next time. And setting small goals, like really small goals, not getting swept. If you're losing anyway, okay, I'm gonna lose by zero points, just a draft decision. Or I'm not gonna get tapped. If you're getting tapped and all of them, okay, I'm gonna lose, but I'm not gonna get tapped. And then it's, you finally say, I'm gonna win this fight, I'm gonna win all fights, I'm gonna be champion, you know? And, and I think those uh, little progressions, little goals, it's what helped me. And that's what I see a lot, is people who have potential, who have talent, but they give up before they get on that point where they can actually win. So it's pretty much about not giving up on that phase, because everybody's gonna go through that phase. And especially if you consider in a tournament where you have maybe 10 opponents, 9 are gonna uh, lose, you know, just 1 out of 10 is it's gonna win. So you, you, if you lose on the first round or on the last round, it doesn't mean that you don't have the potential to later on become better and win again. So it's just a matter of keeping, set your go ahead and keep going with time, time steps. I always try to arrange my, my trips for the tournament with seminars, either before or after. After this pan I'm, I'm going to stay three weeks, I'm going to teach in Oklahoma, Texas and Miami, Florida. And I'm going to still be training if, even there and when I come back, because the Brazilian National is going to be end of April and I'm already going to be thinking as well for June for the Worlds. So pretty much this first half of the year, it's all tournament-oriented, diet, dieting and trying to be 
as healthy as I can, you know, avoiding the injuries to stay focused on, on those goals, those big tournaments of the year.